and welcome back to the Scale Modeling Cafe and welcome to part two of the Trumpeter Hobby Boss and I Love Kit 2023 announcement video. The reason why I'm doing a part two is you may have seen in part one and I'll put a, um, a thing at the end of the video so you can go and watch that if you haven't seen that already. The information, the source of the information was a leaked, some leaked photographs of the catalogue and it wasn't particularly very clear or very good. Trumpeter have now, and I say Trumpeter for all three companies because um, I'm assuming they're the, the parent company, they've actually officially announced the 2023 catalogue and there's some uh, kits on there that I missed uh, or the uh, original poster missed. And uh, I thought I'd just bring you another video and offer my thoughts on um, on what I've seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down by manufacturer. So we'll start off with Trump to first. 24th scale P51BC Mustang, the Razorback in 24th scale. That's going to be uh, an absolute beast and I'm sure very, very popular. Now they've done it in 32nd scale and obviously a few little um, accuracy errors going on there. I built the D version when that first came out a long, long time ago. It actually looks nice when it's finished. But I'm hoping that they've updated their information and um, it's more accurate, bound to be more detailed. It's a modern trumpeter thing. They tend to pack it um, with a lot more detail these days. Uh, where, is it going to be riveted? I don't know. If it is, their rivets these days are a lot more subtle than they used to be back in the day. Are the wings going to be riveted? Pfft, who knows? Um, there's probably as many people that want it riveted that, is, that is don't. If it's riveted, fill it in. If it's not riveted, you want it riveted, add the rivets. Someone's going to be unhappy, someone's going to be happy. There we go. Um, 24th scale Razorback Mustang though, um, that's quite cool. They've also announced an FW190 in 24th scale, an A8, which I think is um, probably the most popular version. It's um, probably the one with the widest variations of markings and it's a very sensible choice. Uh, will they do the whole series? I don't know. Um, I very much suspect there'll be an F8 following on from those moulds. Maybe though, maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, good times for big scale modellers, eh? What with the Airfix Spitfire Mark 9 out and now the Mustang and the FW190 from Trumpeter. That's really, really cool. Okay, 135th scale now. And they've announced a couple of Hueys the B version and the B gunship version. Some talk of maybe ICM doing a 35th scale one to, um, now who did the other 35th one? Was it Hobbycraft or maybe Academy? Dragon, Dragon I think it was, wasn't it? Quite um, old now, that kit, along in the tooth and not the most detailed kit. This thing I think is gonna be really good if it's accurate and uh, yeah, caveat, from all of these, it's Trump to Hobby Boss. Sometimes they do good ones, sometimes they do less than good ones in the accuracy department, but it'll be highly detailed, that is for sure, and that's a really interesting release. 48 scale, now some helicopters. Uh, now, which is the one that they've released? Is it the MI-17 or the M8? I don't know. But they're doing the 17 and the 8, both are coming out this year. I really like that helicopter actually, it's really cool, uh, especially the sort of gunship type version. And I prefer the old 8 uh, with the rounded um, nose personally. That's really cool. They're also doing the MI4. So I built the Hobby Boss 72nd MI8 and the MI4, both I did derelict ones. Awesome, loved them. Um, uh, I had to do, you know, I threw all the Edward photo etch at them, I riveted them, etc. So, and a load of scratch building there. But lovely, lovely kit, actually, straight from the box. But a real good canvas for some extra detailing. And it'll have, both of them will have real presence in 48 scale. So, I'm really pleased to see those. 
Two of the really exciting ones that I missed in 48 scale. Firstly, an IL-2 Stormovic single seater. Are they gonna do the two seater? I don't know. Um, I think the single seater looks a bit weird, if I'm honest. Um, the two seater looks much better proportioned to my eye. But that's uh, really uh, welcome. Obviously, it's not gonna hold a torch probably to the, um, the Tamiya two seater. But um, yeah, uh, really nice to see nonetheless. But the most exciting one of all of these is they've announced an SU-25 in 48 scale, which is awesome. Now, obviously, clearly Zvezda have done one. I don't want to get a Zvezda one at the moment with all what's going on over in Ukraine. But I have the 35th scale trumpeter one, which is a really, really nice kit. And I've got all the detail sets you can possibly get for that. I've got all the photo etch, I've got all the resin. I've even got a brass and resin pito set, wheels, just everything. But it's gonna be a big model and whether I'm gonna to get to do that here or not, I don't know. I really would like to actually, that and the F100, which I've got in 30 second scale, but that's really welcome to see that in 48. And I'm definitely gonna get one of those and I'm definitely gonna hoover up all the resin for it as well. And um, yeah, really, really exciting to see that. I've, I've seen some beautiful pictures of really, really weather-beaten aeroplanes that are still flying. They're not derelict jobs, they are in service and they are manky as, um, as you like. So really excited to see that. For me, that's top of the list of all of these, definitely. Right, 72nd scale, I mentioned in the other video that they were going to do an A6 Intruder. They're actually going to do a whole series. So they're doing the A6A, the A6E and the A6E Tram and they're also doing an EA6B Prowler. So they're doing the whole lot. The only thing they're not doing there is the A6... Um, uh, Elite, Elint version. What's that? Was that the C? Or was it the A Elint thing? Um, it's kind of like a two-seat prowler, if you like. So they're not doing that one. Um, I don't know if they're going to do the KA6, and you can build that from one of these. Um, I, I really don't know. But that's really nice that they're doing the whole series. Not unexpected, but really nice to see it in the catalogue. Also in 72nd scale, that's been in the catalogue for a very, very, very long time is the MiG-19. But the difference now is, is there's box art. And normally, if there's box art, it means it's close. So I'm really hoping we'll get to see the MiG-19 from Trumpeter this year. Um, but to be honest, I'm not holding my breath. We're waiting a very long time from that. So that's it, aeroplanes for Trumpeter. What I do want to mention right at the end, though, is they have done a Queen Elizabeth class carrier, the new one, in 1700 scale. Clearly, some people are going to moan like hell that why didn't they do it in 350th? It's probably coming, but that's really cool to, to see that. Being an ex, obviously, fleet air arm bloke myself, never seen the carrier, let alone landed on it. The new one, um, I left before it came in, but uh, yeah, really cool to see that. Um, I just thought I'd throw that out there um, because, um, yeah. I'm ex Navy, so why not mention that? Right, moving on. Hobby Boss. This was mentioned, uh, one of the viewers mentioned this in the comments to the last video, and I did actually miss it. Was a 48 scale B24 J to replace the really very, very ancient and um, I'm going to say it crap monogram kit. I say crap because it's age, it's something like 40 odd years old, raised panel lines state-of-the-art for its day when it came out and I still remember that Shep Payne diorama of the painting of the war-weary um, bomber into the assembly ship. I know there's there's some significant issues in the 32nd scale one accuracy wise there's kind of uh, D and J uh, features in both kits and it's a bit of a mess um, variant wise 
hopefully they've sorted it out and they just haven't just shrunken it down. It remains to be seen, but um, that's going to be really quite a big model as well, but really imposing one and um, yeah, much more manageable than 32nd, definitely. That's just black and white sort of drawing, so um, no idea when that's going to come out. Probably later rather than sooner, I would imagine. Um, probably quite expensive as well, but yeah, that's really cool. Also in 48th is a U2R and a U2S. Now I don't know my U2s at all, my dragon ladies, whatever you want to call them, um, at all. But that's really cool. They did the 72nd scale one and it comes in a teeny tiny little box. But uh, by all accounts, it's a beautiful little kit there. And to see it in 48th is really cool. I'd love to do a, like a modern TR1 with a really long nose and all the rest of it. I, I think, from what I remember, I'll, I'll put the pictures up here. One of them may even have that big jobby going on um, on the back. This is going to be a really cool kit because it's going to be... Um, well, first of all, it's going to be complementary to the uh, Ravel SR-71 Blackbird that was released last year. Also, um, Hypersonic... Um, the chap from Hypersonic was designing one. I can't remember who's going to do that now. Oh, crumbs. I'm sure one of you out there will tell me um, um, who's actually going to be producing that one. But a real nice compliment to go with those. And a really challenging but interesting um, black finish to do on that. And so them actually, you can hunt them out, really did um, weather down quite badly. So that's really, really cool. The other thing that's cool is they're doing a legacy F-18, an F-18C. And I really like the legacy one. I think it's um, a pretty little aeroplane, actually. And uh, I really quite fancy um, doing that, an F-18. See, um, a couple of my mates here, Aussie mates, uh, flew the uh, F-18C, so um, I quite fancy doing one of those in um, Aussie markings. That'd be quite cool. So really welcome with that. Um, no doubt a resin cockpit, photo etch set, uh, and a resin seat, and uh, not necessarily a resin cockpit, but certainly the photo etch and the resin seat, and hopefully some Red Fox Studios. Um, consoles and instrument panel yeah I reckon that'd be mint that one um, so that's really exciting release and the last one in 48 for Hobby Boss is they're doing some 109E's an E3 and an E4 Trop clearly the modelling world is awash with 109's but they are huge sellers which is why we're awash with 109's and it's still in 48 they're going to have to go a long way to beat the Edward kits, which are stunning. The only thing is with the Edward kits um, is that they um, they moulded the oleos at pretty much full extension, so they kind of look a, as if they're on tiptoe a bit, and that's a bit of a pain in the in the backside to fix. Um, Accuracy-wise, again, ooh, that that thing. Um, the thirty-second scale kits are really nice. And they're actually really quite accurate, apart from the rudder's a bit too um, narrow, um, from what I remember, but really nice all the same. Now, who is it? Was it? Was it Dora Wings? Have done, no, Wingsy. I think it's Wingsy. Again, I'm pretty sure they're a Ukrainian company. No doubt someone down in the comments will, um, um, will let us all know. By all accounts, they're beautiful kits, um, those ones. So again, they're going to have to go a long way to um, to beat those, but these are going to be accessible. They'll be relatively cheap. Um, they'll fit together beautifully. They'll be um, uh, hopefully riveted quite subtly all over. And uh, well, frankly, they'll be made for the Chinese market and they'll um, bung some out for export. But um, yeah, choice is good, I say. So I welcome those. Right, um, sticking with 48th, oh, they're all 48th actually, is um, I mentioned they're going to do a Corsair. Uh, and, uh, but the versions they're doing actually is an F4U1D, an F4U2, a Corsair Mark 1, so the Fleet Air On version, 
Whether that's going to have clip wing tips or not, I don't know, but it's an easy conversion. I've done it um, uh, many times in 72nd, 48th and 32nd. It's an easy mod. Uh, but what's really cool is the FOU5N and the AU1. So really nice to see those later Corsairs in 48th. And again, I'm looking forward to those later marks, the sort of Korean War um, type ones. Um, they're really, really welcome. And obviously the, the, the football war as well. I'm not going to say the S word because it doesn't exist in the English dictionary as far as I'm concerned. It's football. All right, people? Football. Um, <laughs> so I always seem tend to do a rant on some of these, don't I? Never, th I didn't think I was going to be uh, ranting about that particular subject. Right, um, anyway, I'm digressing. So really nice to see that series. And also the Hurricanes... Obviously, the Mark One is imminent, but they're doing the whole series of Hurricanes. Um, two Bs, two Cs. I think there's a 2D in there as well, the tropical ones. So, um, going to town on all those. Awesome. That's it for Hobby Boss. The last one I mentioned is, uh, I mentioned is I Love Kit, which is just, it's the same company in the same stable, just different brand. There is some interesting stuff there, some big scale 118 stuff. Uh, which um, are not that detailed actually, but um, yeah, not really my bag. What is my bag though is the Gladiator, and they've announced a Mark One and a Mark Two Gladiator. And I've got a feeling they're going to be really, really nice. I don't know why. They're doing a Grum and Duck as well, which is going to be quite a large aeroplane, I think. But these really stood out to me, the Mark One, Mark Two, and I really fancy doing that. Um, I. I just fancy doing a sort of a 1939 pre-war silver one um, or um, yeah sort of a hastily camouflaged one or maybe even a desert one I don't know no sea hurricane F sea hurricane what am I talking about no sea gladiator which is a shame it would have been nice to see one of those but um, yeah really really nice um, nevertheless so fantastic to see that. Right, that is quite a long list. So I missed quite a lot, didn't I? The highlights for me in all those are um, is number one, top of the pile, 48th scale Frogfoot, definitely way up there. The um, 70 second Intruders and Prowler, that's really, really cool. Uh, the Hobby Boss F18, the Legacy F18, the C. And the uh, later Corsairs. Crumbs. When am I going to get the time, eh? Who knows? Right, I'll put the green book down and I'll uh, wrap things up there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll even do another one uh, if, uh, if some more stuff comes out. We'll have to see. But uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Go check out part one if you've not seen it already. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.